Hello everyone, I'm Katie and as usual I am bringing you an arty video for BCP Libraries this Wednesday. And this week we are going to be taking part in the hashtag Still Learning. And this is a hashtag created by the children's charity Their World. And the idea is make a poster of what you are learning about during lockdown. And this was started by the children's illustrator Nick Sharat, who you might recognise from these books here. You might have read them in the libraries. And he started by making a video drawing a picture of himself and what he is learning during lockdown. So I'm going to be doing the same today and you can draw along with me or after the video you can get out your favourite art supplies and make a poster of what you are learning in lockdown. And when we're done I'm going to put it on the wall behind me because I have a space. So let's get on with it shall we? So first of all, I found myself a big piece of paper. I have an A3 piece of paper and I'm drawing my poster landscape because that is easier for me to film. But you can do whatever size poster you like and do it whatever orientation you like. So I'm drawing myself in the middle of the paper and I drew all of the pictures in pencil first and now I'm outlining them in my black fine liner pen. This is my favourite pen that I like to do all my illustrations in. You don't have to do yours in pen, you can just use pencil, it's totally up to you. So I'm drawing myself in the middle and I'm drawing myself wearing my button necklace because I love wearing button necklaces and you can draw yourself wearing your favourite outfit too. And also on my shoulder I drew my little mouse Charlie. He is my original character. I like to make up lots of different stories and draw pictures of him. You might have seen him if you've been into Bournemouth Library and into the children's zone or you might have even coloured in some pictures of him yourself. So I had to include him in this poster. So once I had finished drawing myself and Charlie I decided to draw what things I am learning. So Currently I am doing lots of reading. I am very much enjoying reading and listening to audiobooks because the libraries subscribe to BorrowBox and they have a lot of very good audiobooks on there. So I'm first of all drawing some books and also during lockdown I am doing lots and lots of art activities. I am doing drawing, painting, even a little bit of crafting, a little bit of sewing. So I'm drawing my art supplies and what I have been creating. And also during lockdown I have been playing more of my oboe and that is a musical instrument. It looks a little bit like a clarinet but it has two reeds to blow down instead of one. So I'm drawing my oboe and some music. Not sure my next door neighbours are happy that I am playing the oboe during lockdown but I'm very happy and I'm having fun. And also because I am making a lot of videos for the BCP YouTube channel on a Wednesday I'm making art videos and I'm also doing some editing of the other videos that the libraries are uploading I am learning lots and lots of new editing skills and that is really really good because I have my own art YouTube channel so I'm able to make better videos on there and on this channel through all of my new learning and now I'm writing my name I'm writing Katie and Charlie and adding the hashtag still learning and I'm writing in Bournemouth, Christchurch and Paul because that is the area that I live in. So once you have finished drawing out your design for your poster you can then colour it in with your favourite art supplies. I decided to colour mine in with some colour pencils, some crayons and some gel pens but you can colour yours in with whatever you like. You can colour it in with some felt tip pens, some pencils, some crayons, you can even get out your paints if you want to. Also, if you don't feel like drawing too much on your poster, you can print out some pictures from the internet, cut out some magazines or cut out some photographs and stick them onto your poster that way. You can also write on your poster. You can write things that you have been learning rather than draw them. It's totally up to you. This is your poster and everybody learns in different ways. You can also include on your poster what you have been learning from what your teachers have been sending you. They might have been sending you some work to do. You can put that on there. You might have been learning a new skill. You might be drawing lots like I am, or you might be playing sport in your back garden. Whatever you are doing that helps you learn, you can add it to your poster. 
So I'm just finishing off colouring in my poster now. I'm using my pencils and I am pressing harder in the darker parts and pressing lighter in the lighter parts. And I'm also using my eraser to blend my colours. That is a top tip for you. You can use an eraser to blend your colour pencils together. Just make sure that you clean off the eraser and there is no pencil markings on it because it will smudge. And all the way around the outside of my poster, I drew a wiggly line to look like the sea because Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole are by the sea and I'm just using a blue crayon to add some colour to the border. And when you have finished your drawing, colouring or writing on your poster, you can maybe add some stickers. I have found some stickers at home that I want to use up so I'm adding some stickers that go nicely with the design. I found some video making stickers that I'm sticking on the video part and I also found some very pretty gem stickers that I'm just sticking all over the picture just to make it look nice and pretty but you can do whatever you want you don't have to add stickers you can just get as creative as you like. This is your poster and everyone's posters will be very different. So here is my finished poster. I think it's time that I put it up on my wall. So here is my poster all finished and up on my wall. I'm very pleased with it and I think Charlie is too. So that is it for today's video. Now it's up to you to create your own poster about what you have been learning in lockdown and make sure to include the hashtag still learning if you want to post it on Facebook. Twitter or Instagram. Bye everyone!